Hey gamers what's up, I hope all are fine, in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the virtual memory, additional to it, I'm going to give you 5 best steps, which optimizes your PC, as well as your games. But this video is longer, and boring to you, but if you do all the steps, it's worth for your time, in this video we are going to disable the unnecessary CPU usage and disk usage. Increase the memory usage. Increase the virtual memory, boosting up the PC performance, and optimize the games. Watch the full video without skipping, and don't forget to give like to this video, and subscribe for not missing our gaming and PC contents. Without wasting time let's get into the video. All the 5 steps timestamps are in the description, so get used to it. Ok, step 1. Reducing an accessory CPU usage and disk usage. Press window key plus R in keyboard. Now type services.msc. And click OK. Now you get page like this. Now scroll down, and search either superfetch or sysmain. In some PC there will be superfetch, but in recent Windows update superfetch changed to sysmain. So search for superfetch or sysmain. Both are same only. I have superfetch here. If you have sysmain also same steps only guys. Select it and go to properties. You can see. Automatically here. Change it to disable. That's it. Click apply and ok. This small steps going to increase. Your PC boot up. Decreases your PC thermal. And decreases your run accessory CPU usage. And disk usage. Ok. Let's jump to step 2. Increasing memory usage. To do this step, press window key plus R in keyboard. Type regedit and click OK. Now in left side, go to H key local machine. Go to system. Control set 001. Services. Now scroll down. And search for Endis 1 Legacy. Under the Endis 1 Legacy, select NDU. After selecting go to right side, select start, right click it, and select modify. Now change the value data, from 2 to 4, and make sure hexadecimal is selected, and click ok. That's it, this step will increases your RAM memory usage. Ok let jump to the very important step of this video. Increasing virtual memory. Usually Windows automatically allocate some amount of virtual memory in every PC, but we are going to increase the virtual memory by doing some tweaks. Go to this PC, left click it, and go to properties. Now in left side, go to system protection. Now in above, go to advanced. Now go to the first settings. You get pop up like this. Now in above again select the advanced. Now you can see the virtual memory is just 768 MB, but in your PC, if this number is, either more or less, no problem, you just do the same steps I do, select change, now and tick this automatically manage, now select any disk from here, I'm selecting G, now enable custom size, ok. Now enter 2000 in the first box, and enter the 4000 in the second box, that's it, now select set, and ok. Now it asks you to restart your PC, so restart it. Now you can see my virtual memory is 2768 megabytes. I increased my virtual memory from 768 megabytes to 2768 megabytes. This helps to avoid gaming stutters and increases the performance of your PC. Okay, come let's jump to the fourth step, boosting up the PC. For step 4 and 5, you need two softwares. This softwares optimizes and boosts up your PC by deleting all the unidentified junks, caches, and it optimizes the games according to your PC specs and helps to increase the gaming FPS. This two softwares are absolutely free. I will show you how to download this two softwares and how to use for free. So don't skip this important steps. So go to the comment section of this video. Click this link. You get page like this. Click block and wait for 5 seconds. Now click skip ad. Now press allow. Press click this link. 
Now click this blue box, automatically it starts download. And if you're getting the stupid notifications, go to settings, and click block all notifications, and select done. Now you will not get any notifications. Okay. Now go to your downloaded location, extract the raw file. It asks password. Password is, tweaks by ct, full caps without any space. Click OK. It starts extracting, and you get one folder. Click it, inside you can see two folders, Outbyte, and Razor Cortex. Go inside the Outbyte folder, select this exe and open it. Now you get page like this, make sure everything is ticked, and select click to install. It takes some time to install. After installing, tick this launch PC repair, and select finish. After click finish, automatically the software pops up, and starts loading. After loading, this software, automatically starts scanning your PC, and find out each and every bloaters, caches and finds out all the problems, which slows down your PC. So please be patient till it finds out all the problems. It takes some time, so I'm fast forwarding it. Okay, now it's scanned completely, now what should you do is, select the system specs, in the left side, and scroll down, while scrolling down, wherever you see view and fix, click it, and select resolve, it fix the problem and helps your PC to boost up in performance. Again same guys, wherever you see view and fix, click it, and select resolve, that's it, follow these same steps and boost up your PC. This software helps to increase your PC storage, optimizes your PC, and boost up your PC performance. And also we can do more with this software, in future I try to upload dedicated video for this. Ok it's time to see the game optimizer. Now go to the extracted location, select the Razer Cortex folder, open the Razer Cortex EXE, you get page like this, now enable only the Razer Cortex, and select install, make sure your PC is connected to the internet, because it need 237 megabytes, to install the Razer game optimizer, now it starts installing. After installing go to taskbar, click the Razer Cortex icon, select login to Razer, you get page like this, now select continue as guest, it starts logging in. Make sure your internet is on, now you get pop up like this. Again select continue as guest. Now close this pop up. Click this plus mark, and select your game icon. From the respective game directory, I'm selecting GTA San Andreas Remaster. After selecting your game icon, select add, like that. Whatever game you have, add everything here. Ok. Now above select boost. And click boost now, it helps to boost up your game performance. Go to FPS option, if you want to see your FPS, then enable this, and set your shortcut, it helps to see the FPS of your game. Finally go to system booster, and select scan, it scans the games you added now, and speed up the gaming performance, after scanning completely it shows, optimized, now go to the games you added, and start playing the game, from this launcher. I hope you like this video, if this video is useful and entertaining, give like, and subscribe our channel, still more awesome gaming contents. PC optimization videos, GTA 5 mods video, GTA San Andreas mods videos, Android gaming contents, are coming for you, so please subscribe, and click the bell button for not missing those videos. See you soon guys, until then life is very short friends always be happy. Bye.